Hello friends, welcome to Smash the Shell. I am Amit Kumar and in this video tutorial I am going to show you how to create a short underline text. What do I mean by short underline text? I want to create an underline to my text and which is aligned to the middle of the text and it do not take the full space as it as the text. Okay, so you can see that on the right hand side of the screen I have a text written and underline is aligned to the middle of this text and also on the left hand side you can see that it is created by only using the normal CSS text decoration property. So by using the normal CSS text decoration property you can only create this underline which will take full space up to the text ok. So I do not want this. So how we can create one that is displayed at the right hand side. Well, we can create this by using CSS3 pseudo selectors, namely after or before. But in this video, I am going to utilize only after pseudo selector. Okay, so let's get started. I am going to go ahead and open my code pen account where I have written a basic h1 tag and applied a class of underline small, underline hyphen small. Okay, and now I gonna write all this style information in this CSS panel and let's first of all target our underline small class to do that write dot underline hyphen small and just inside the curly braces apply it a color of green okay and let's give it a normal text decoration property so that we can see how it will look okay let's give it a text decoration of underline so you can see that it is taking the full space up to the text okay now let's go ahead and remove this property from here okay and go ahead and target your underline small class and then apply after pseudo selector and let's give it a content property of and set its value to empty and let's give it a height of 2 pixels this height is gonna be height of your border ok so I gonna go ahead and give it 2 pixels and let's go ahead and give it a width of about 20% ok and I am going to give it uh, position properties remember this is very important and set its pro position property to absolute now I want to give it a background color so that we can see our border or underline so let's give it a background color pound f25 sorry 24 then 43 2 okay and now you can see that we have this underline or border that is displayed here okay now we want to position the parent element which is our underline small to relative so let's set it position property to relative okay and go ahead and now since we have positioned our underline small after pseudo selector to absolute so we want this to position to the left so set it left property to 0 and bottom property to 0 so that it will look like an underline now you can see that we have an underline which is smaller than the text itself now I want this underline to be aligned into the center of this text so, ok to achieve that we can just do that here set its left property to about 50% but wait a moment I will show you how to properly do it. Now you can see that since our h2 h1 element is a block element so its position relative to the full width of this text since it's, it's a block element. So what we want to do now we can just go ahead and set its display property to inline block ok now you can see that it is positioned relative to this h1 element and it ends up to this css text 
and let's go ahead and since we have applied 50% left which is not the true value that we want we can just go ahead and apply calc function here CSS calc function and go ahead and I think if you are a mathematician you have already guessed how much we want to reduce from here since we have applied a 20% width to our border element or which is this underline we want to reduce 10% from the this border so that now it will be centered absolutely okay so no matter how much text you wanna write inside here it will it will change its position automatically to the center so let me write something else something else okay here you can see it it's still in the center of this text okay so this is how you can create custom text underline and align it into the center of the text and you can also leave it on the absolute left or you can change its color and anything you want to do you can do with this underline or border so hope you guys like this video and if you like this video please hit like to this video and subscribe to my channel if you already haven't yet so see you in next video bye bye take care